basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony with Doris Burke on our sideline. It'll be the visiting team and the home team. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Andy Jacumbo and it's Diamantides in at the point. Here's Spanoulis. Finish off the break. Pass to Kuzminskis. To the middle. It's deflected. It's stolen by Andy Jacumbo. Here's Spanoulis. The layup missed. And guys, the Greek freak really improved his numbers across the board last season. Giannis was up in every measurable category, except three-point percentage. He's really improved his shooting, though, overall. The three ball still eludes him a little bit here and there. But what I like, Kevin, is his aggressiveness. That's what's making the difference in his game right now. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Over to the left wing. Jan Kunis, the pass to Postis. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. You know, going back to Giannis, he has the physical makeup and skill set to be a triple-double guy. I mean, there's no reason that he shouldn't be able to fulfill his potential, except consistency. That's the area he's got to tighten up. Here's Barusis. Can't get it to go. Nice deed from Valanciunas. Postis passes to Kuzminskis. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Gone just one of four to get this game started. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Steve Clifford gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He told me there aren't many big men with the mobility and length of Jonas Valanciunas and that he's a player they'll really have to account for, saying, quote, JV's still developing his skill set, but there just aren't that many people in the world of his size. And you factor in his motor, he can really impact a game. Guys, we'll see how they try to deal with him. And thank you, Doris. He's off from 17 feet. Gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. The pass to Barusis. Here's the three, and he gets it to go. He's got five. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Out left to the wing. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Spinellas passes to Diamantinas. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. Four on the clock. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Out to the wing. Screened by Valanciunas. Here's Kuzminskis. First shot, first basket. He's out of the block fast. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Now, here's Andy DeCumbo. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Diamantides. No good on the triple. Feeds it to Valanciunas. 
to the paint. And the powerful one-handed slam. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Here's Diamantidis. 14 points from him the last game against Indiana. And don't forget about his playmaking in that game either. I mean, he did a great job of attacking the D and creating opportunities for both himself and his teammates. Down low. Terrific design on the pick foot. He lays it in. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs it right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Passes it to Spinous. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And, and Steve Clifford might not be the most famous coach in the NBA, but he has plenty of experience, and everyone in the league knows exactly how well-versed he is as a coach. First free throw is good. And Clifford in his third year now as a head coach, Greg, that experience you, you were just talking about, he has 29 years of coaching under his belt. And he's a Van Gundy disciple, Clark, was on the coaching staff for both brothers. Yeah, and he's been with a lot of teams, Kevin. 13 seasons as an assistant for the Lakers, Rockets, Magic, and Knicks. Gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Pass to Machulis. Out to the right wing. Kotsas passes to Valanciunas. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And though he's been working on his offensive skills, defense and rebounding are Valanciunas' bread and butter. That was the case with him when he was playing in Lithuania Clark. And it's the case now. It still sure is the case. I mean, it's hard to find a guy with his combination of size, athleticism, and fluidity. Just a tad over aggressive at times, but I'd rather have to turn a guy down than to turn him up. Mm -hmm. And he sinks the second. And, and watching Valanciunas rebound, it's clear he has all the tools. Great anticipation, really looks to box out. Strong vertical, might just need to add some strength to become a perennial 10 rebound a game guy. on one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Spanoulis. He's coming off a 22-point game against Indiana. Boy, was he physical. I mean, in that game, just drawing a lot of contact and getting himself to the line over and over. That is good. And for Valanciunas, he's been working on his defensive consistency. Last year, he actually increased his blocks per game while lowering his fouls per game. That's a big step forward in his development. Machulis, the pass to Valanciunas. Shot clock at six. Here's Potsis. And he overshot that one, missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. On that Takumbo, passes to Diamantinas. Back to Anadokounmpo, out left to the wing. Here's Kufus, rebounded by Dallin Junis. Gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Here's Potsis, goes up and lays it nice and easy. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Here's Diamantidis. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Back to Anadokounmpo, shoots off the screen, and he gets the jumper to drop. Perfect screen there, set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now, here's Mani Yunus. 11 points for him in that last game against Washington. Yeah, not to mention the four big steals on the night, getting after it on both ends. Here's Spanoulis. On that Takumbo, passes to Fotsis. Here's Spanoulis. 
And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. The feet of Alan Junis. Mona Yunus in the post. Defended by Kufus. Mona Yunus, no luck. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Here's Diamantidis. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And onto the Kumbo, slams it in. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. And, and Costa Kufus, an excellent rotation center. I mean, he gets after it on the inside. He'll give you some rebounds. Can